the brain of this conference, Professor Marco Teich, and the chair of IMS, uh, Ms. Bok Higgins, Higgins and um, I will give them the floor, but before that, um, let me thank you all for being here. Let me tell you that I have appreciated very much these discussions. Please have a seat, okay. feel at home. Um, um, we've been looking at manufacturing from many different perspectives. We've looked at the industrial policy, we look at technology, we've looked at systems, we've looked at robots. Uh, we've had plenty of good ideas of how the future will look like. And I hope uh, you are bringing with you home um, further encouragement to, to continue addressing the challenges. With these uh, gratitude words, I give the floor to Professor Marco Teich. Thank you very much, Clara. Uh, we don't want to keep you away from your flight. Don't worry for this. Uh, we start yesterday morning asking question whether manufacturing still matters. Uh, we promise you a challenging program. Uh, I think we challenge you enough with all the presentation. I think the, we were aiming for quality. That's where the criteria where the program committee selected the topic. This is where the criteria for, for us to select the speakers. I have to say that I was surprised of the content. I was surprised to the speakers. I want to thank all of them. Please, so please join me with this, not just in the last session. I think they, 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 did, a great, they did a great job. Um, what uh, is going to be discussed, what was discussed is here in this piece of paper. You see, uh, we have tried to recap all of the content, manufacturing of the future is here. So bring, please, manufacturing of the futures back home with you. I think this is... Uh, uh, where you should plan your strategy. This is where the policymakers should look for plan their the strategy, and I hope that this was helpful. Um, I just have to say thank you to some people. Uh, preparing this program was uh, almost a year of work with uh, a, nice, a nice team. We have been having conference call all over uh, Europe and over uh, with Mexico and, and US and Europe once a week, two hours every week to make this program happening. Uh, 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 happening. So I would like to thank uh, Francesca Flamini from the European Commission. I think Francesca already, oh, she's there. Thanks, Francesca. I, I'm going through the alphabetical order, so don't, okay. Dan Nagy, who was a member of the program committee, Dan, thank you for helping. <laughs> David Romero, where are you, David? David was <laughs> tweeting for two days all the programs, so everybody in the world know, knows what's happened here. Thank you, David, for this. And last but not the least, Roberta Salona, also from the European Commission. So. <laughs> thank you very much. We were. I, I really enjoy your, your, your support, and now I leave the floor to you for the final remarks. Thanks, Bob. Okay. Well, listen, Marco, I wasn't that surprised with the, the speakers. I thought I knew they were going to do a good job, and they did. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you for coming today, and when I come to these kinds of things, I like to go home with a couple takeaways, and I hope you guys have a couple takeaways. You're, you're taking home that's going to inspire you or solve some problems back home. I'd like to again thank the European Commission for supporting the World Manufacturing Forum. They did a great job. And all the sponsors, uh, in particular the Man Made Project, which was a major sponsor, SCRA, ITI, and Industrial Canada and also the projects Premanus, Manuskill, Fitman, and the CAD Commission projects. I love the names of these projects. Let's give those project people a hand. They're out there. <laughs> and I hope you had time to stop by and, and see what they were doing out there. I noticed that uh, the Canada 
which was right up front there, did a good PR job for Mexico and one of their brochures, so that was good. Uh, I'd also like to thank Este, the media partner of the World Manufacturing Forum. I think we made the, the Italian version of Financial Times this morning. You might want to check that out. And I don't think we've done that before. So we're, WMF is reaching for like the Davos Economic Conference at some point. That's what we have our eye on. We're certainly not there yet but that's what we have our eye on. And every year, I think it gets better and better. Uh, I'd also like to thank the supporting organizations, the European Factory of the Future Research Association, Cluster of Smart Manufacturing of Lombardy, the Federal Department of Economic Affairs Education Research of the Swiss Confederation, and the organizers, Politecnico di Milano, IMS, and also the local, organized, local organizing committee that you've seen hustling around here. I'm going to kill this name probably as Silvia Marciuto, Francesca Amato, and Elizabeth De Verte. <laughs> and I do wish you all safe travels, and we will be probably coming out within the next three to six months, which, which our target is for the next World Manufacturing Forum. So safe travels and thanks for coming. <laughs>